Welcome to the Cowgirl Basketball Roundup with Coach Jim Littell. I'm your host, Casey Kendrick. And Coach, what a fun show. Anytime you knock off a number 17 team and you get a season sweep of Oklahoma, second time in three years, man, there's a lot of positive things to talk about right now. Uh, very true, and it was an exciting week and a very productive uh, week for our ball club. You know, Coach, you can't rest on a win against West Virginia. you got to get ready for Oklahoma, and you did. You can't rest on this Oklahoma win. Obviously, you got some really tough games coming up, including a game the second half of, of our upcoming schedule at Baylor. This, we say it all the time, but this is just an incredibly relentless conference. Well, there's no doubt, and, and uh, you've got to turn the page very quickly. If you should drop a game, if you get a big bedlam win, you got to turn the page and get your focus ready for Iowa State. You know, there was a great moment after the Oklahoma game, and we've got the highlights coming up. But uh, you enter the locker room, and the kids are spraying water everywhere. You know, yes, this is this is a game. Then it's somewhat of a business, but it's got to be fun. And that moment and seeing those kids celebrate, obviously, that was a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun in our locker room after the game, and you know, you kind of want to. Uh, keep it in, in context that we got a lot of games yet to go, but it's such a grind in this league. Our kids were excited. Our coaches were excited. Let's enjoy the moment. Well, and you have really enjoyed and embraced Bedlam. I mean, it's, it's, a, it's a big game. If some people want to say it's the next game, but you have really embraced that, hey, this one means something to us, to our fans, to our university. It means a lot to Oklahoma. That's that's made this Bedlam and the fact that you have been able to hold your own and have so many wins as of late has really made Bedlam a lot more fun. Well, it has. And, uh, you know, I think we've won four out of the last six and and uh, we've put a lot of the Bedlam back in the series and we're excited to do that. And they've got a good ball club. They're very experienced and to go in there and win. Uh, was a great win for our, our team. No doubt it was, and we're going to look at the highlights from that one. We got the highlights also coming up from West Virginia as well. Lots to get to. A little feature on Kaylee Jensen, who's having an outstanding senior season. That and much more coming up as we continue with the Cowgirl Basketball Roundup. The Cowgirl Basketball Roundup with Jim Littell is brought to you by Bud Light, proud friends of Oklahoma State Athletics, famous among friends. By the visit stillwater.org. Shop, dine, and stay partners. Be sure to shop, dine, and stay in America's friendliest college town. By Mercy Health, your life is our life's work. And by OGE, power at the speed of life. Welcome back, and let's turn our attention to the first game to look at the highlights of, and that would be West Virginia coach. And one of the things that really stands out in this game was zero lead changes. You guys had the lead. It was tied early for just a brief moment, and then you led the rest of the way. I was really uh, pleased the way that uh, our team played with a high basketball IQ in the last three or four minutes of that game. Let's take a look at the highlights and see how this one went. Uh, you came into a good crowd here, Coach, and obviously – that's a that's a guy right there that you uh, coach Kerry. You have a, you have a lot of um, a likeness to him. You you guys really do get along well. Uh, he's a good friend and he's a he's a good guy and works kids hard and and they play extremely hard for him and uh, he's been highly highly successful for for a long time and it's a guy that's been decimated with injuries. They lost Tyne Smart and they lost three other key players and for him to start 15 and 0. But, with losing four kids, it can tell you he can coach. Nice job, Gentry Holt drawing the charge right there, Coach. And you had some quality kids, quality minutes off the bench, but you had some quality minutes for that uh, young lady. Several of your inside kids played well in this ball game. We did, and uh, nice cut by Lowe there. And, and uh, Kaylee really came up strong for us. Nice backdoor play to, to Braxton Miller there. So. Uh, we got better as the game progressed. Coach, this was a, a good lead at, at, uh, at the halftime, obviously, just to have the lead. But then to come out in the second half strong the way you did, and you knew because you guys had owned the boards pretty much in the first half. You knew there would be a, a reconcerted effort by West Virginia to start hitting the glass. Uh, they always do. They play like their men's team. Uh, you know, they get about 40% of their misses, and it's a team that, is well coached and, and they don't finish the offensive possession until they hit the offensive glass. 
Great job by Lowe there getting the, the run out bucket. And coach, the other thing, the previous play, we saw a nice job as we'll see her finish this thing right here. But we saw the isolation on Kaylee Jensen, cleared out the backside, made it difficult for them to get the, the, the double team. And that's what's so nice about your team. You can't put two or three on Kaylee. You can, but you're going to leave somebody open. Uh, that's true. Uh, we've got a, a lot better uh, shooters on the perimeter this year, and it stretches the floor, and it's helped Kaylee. And, you know, um, people don't realize that Kaylee's numbers in conference play are are bigger than they were this time a year ago. She's averaging 23.1 and about 12 and a half rebounds a game. Nice job right there. Good look a minute ago by Gentry Holt inside to Latasha Jones. That bucket proved big as it ended up being a three point or six point game in this one. But coach, you mentioned how hard it is to score against uh, this West Virginia team. But again, another good court vision right there. Big bucket for you guys and uh, a game in which you guys uh, you needed every bucket from everybody. Sure did. And, and going to the zone uh, helped us uh, create some steals. Uh, we had played all but one possession of man the game before, and we probably played 90% zone in this game. So I'm not sure how much they had prepared for that. I think they were expecting us to play man. Well, and again, just buckets everywhere. and. Fantastic job on the offensive glass. Good look right there. You score 79 against this, this really tough defense. Coach, out of the zone, you look brilliant from a lot of reasons, but 14 steals. They had 24 turnovers, but 14 steals out of the zone. And it led uh, 25 or so points against it, so uh, it helped us use uh, the defense to create offense. It got low going in the fourth quarter. She had 14 points in the fourth quarter and uh, uh, it kept them off the free throw line. I think they shot five free throws for the night. Well, and you knew, Coach, they were going to get some open looks beyond the arc and they did and they knocked some of those down. But that was offset is what you just said. First off, the, the points off turnovers you got out of it and two, keeping them off the free throw line and finally keeping yourselves out of foul trouble. I remember in the early days we had to play a lot of zone here while we were rebuilding the program and there were nights that we won games by giving up 11 threes, but our own opponent only shot four to six free throws. Mm -hmm. If you could do that, keep people off the free throw line, you can make them hit some perimeter shots. Well, it was a 79-73 win for the Cowgirls over West Virginia. Now on to Norman in the Lloyd Noble Center. The Cowgirls would go for the sweep of the Sooners. We've got the highlights and much more on that one coming up next. This show is a lot of fun. First off, the Cowgirls knock off the number 17 team in the country in West Virginia. And coach, then it's it's Oklahoma, and it's it's special. It's revved up. And I thought both teams came out pretty tight on the offensive end to start this one. You know, the first time we played Casey, it was an offensive showcase, and we looked up at the end of the first quarter, and it was 11 to 8. Both teams were playing extremely hard. Both teams wanted the game, and sometimes when you get into the games like that. You can make yourself tight because you want it so much. And I think that was uh, indicative of an 11 8 score. No doubt. Let's take a look and start uh, the highlights in this one. And, Coach, you knew it was a big game simply again because at 4 and 2, you try to get that fifth win was going to be huge. And you guys came out, and this is a great way to start for the freshmen. It was. And, uh, you know, I've just been kind of going on a gut feeling on who we're starting sometimes. And I knew that the Bedlam game would be a, a big game for uh, Jaden uh, being an Alva girl and uh, having a chance to start in a Bedlam game. And, and she really came through and played well. Braxton Miller admitted, I didn't know really what to think going into the first one. But after that game, it's all I needed. I'll play with a chip on my shoulder. And she played with a chip on her shoulder. She definitely did. And, and she's been really good in big games for us this year. And, stepped up and every time we got behind a little bit Braxton hit a big shot and then uh, of course she hit the two free throws at the end of the ball game. Fantastic chess match between you and coach Cole on who was going to keep their bigs out of foul trouble and who was going to have to go to the bench early and again Kaylee Jensen won that battle. Kaylee uh, Kaylee won the battle. Uh, Pierre's a great player. She had 13 points and 20 rebounds and uh, thought uh, Kaylee showed great judgment of when to back off and, and maybe give up an easy bucket to stay on the floor. So 
Uh, Kaylee played with uh, a lot of intelligence. Off the bench, fantastic job there. She started the first Bedlam game, and Maria Castro drops the tray right there. And Coach, she's so smooth off of that shot. She is, and when she gets squared up and gets her feet right, she's uh, she's a great shooter, and she's uh, she's been kind of the Achilles heel for the Sooners this year. Didn't finish that half the way you wanted to, but you did have a seven-point lead, and there's better defense from Pierre-Louis. The first, well, the last play you saw by Kaylee Jensen, she played no defense because she knew she couldn't pick up her third foul. So that chess match continued here throughout the ball game. And there Braxton Miller just finds a soft spot, says, give it to me at the elbow and I'll knock it down. She did. And, uh, you know, Braxton uh, is uh, a player that doesn't play like a freshman. And there were so many good freshmen on the court in this game. And Lanusa and Pellington for Oklahoma and then Braxton and, and then Jaden had a uh, big ball game for us as well. Coach, obviously Lauren did not have her typical night, but she still had six assists, two steals, and had five rebounds. Offense doesn't always exist, but there's other things you can do. Her defensive effort, she still was a huge part of this game. She did a nice job on Ortiz, uh, holding her to 10 points, uh, found open people all night long. Lowe did struggle on the offensive end, but you know, how, how do you be very critical of that young lady, what she's done for this program? Another big three right there is this one went back and forth, and you guys got uh, you got the three. They come back, hit that one. It's a one-point game going into the fourth quarter, and, you know, it was almost a brand-new ball game at that point. You knew the final ten was going to be, uh, if it was a battle for 30, that last ten was really going to be a it battle. It was, and we fell behind. Uh, I think we were down by seven with 5-12 to go and uh, found a way to battle back. Well, that's the thing, Coach. You're down by seven, and there, I mean, that's the only bucket she hit in this ball game. but that kind of led the little run that you guys got on. It did, and, uh, and then Kaylee uh, knocked some shots down after that, and thought we did a really good job of executing at the end of the ball game. Absolutely, and this is where it started, uh, one of the places it began. Braxton Miller hits a three. Uh, obviously, again, continue to feed inside. Smart play right there by Kaylee Jensen to let the defense get by her, pump fake it, go up, draw the foul. And you guys were 12 of 15 for the free throw line. That was another great uh, stat for you guys in this one. Free throws will win big games for you. You see Kaylee trailing on the break. That was one of uh, her uh, first threes. Nice inside move, follows her shot and finishes. She, she had a fantastic game and scored 14 points in the last five minutes. There's that second three you were talking about. And again, you, you just wouldn't let them, that seven point lead, you made it evaporate really quickly, but it evaporated because you guys worked so hard. Kaylee Jensen worked absolutely extremely hard in that final 10 minutes. She gave it everything she had. She did, there's no question. And uh, you see the inbounds play, we kind of bit on that a little bit, but uh, uh, you, you go back on the replay and she definitely walked. Yeah, you go back and see the slow-mo and it, it is very, very obvious. And then you guys get a final steal here at the buzzer and the clock goes to zero. And the sweep of Oklahoma for the second time in three years, there was jubilation there. As I said, it carried over into the locker room and that is, uh, that's a happy ball team right there. It was and uh, that's fine. You know, when you do that, you invest that much time and have that much uh, energy and you're that vested in the program. It's fine to show positive emotion. No doubt. And this team has shown a lot of that. Now then, we get a chance to find out a little bit about one of the seniors that's been contributing in such a mighty way. That would be Kaylee Jensen. We've got a little feature on her coming up after another timeout. Back to the Cowgirl Basketball Roundup. We've talked so much about the individuals on this team. We've had fantastic play from the freshmen. We've had fantastic play from the newcomer and Lauren Goodwin. But it's been the senior leadership of Kaylee Jensen that has really been a vital part of the Cowgirl success. We get a little closer look with Kaylee Jensen. I think it has something to do with the fact that it is my last season and that kind of hit me sometime when Big 12 started and I realized that if I don't get everything I have now, I'll never get another chance to do it. And so I just started picking up my game. I knew I had people around me to help me. And so I'm really excited to see where this season goes. 
Good win. Out front, Jensen for three. She's got another one. When I first got here, um, I had no idea what Bedlam was. Uh, and I kind of figured it out the first game we played against them. It was head to head, it was aggressive, it was, I don't, it, I don't even know how to explain it, but it has come to mean a lot to me that, you know, it is more than just a game. It's kind of, it's, it is a rivalry. It is more than just a game to the fans and the people of Oklahoma. And so it's really amazing to me that I got to be a part of two teams that did sweep. Jensen with the basketball. She'll take it to the hole. Goes up, shoots, scores. She's Kaylee Jensen. Most of my goals just happen to be team goals. I'm really, like I said, want to finish the year out strong. And I want to see how far this team can can get. If we could get a Big 12 championship, if we can get to the NCAA tournament, I think that's the biggest thing right now for me. The realization that I am a senior kind of put like my own personal goals aside, I guess. And I really wanted to focus on how well I can play to help the team more so than how many points I have or how many rebounds I have. Um, I mean, it's good to, that I get to be one of those decorated people, but my major goal is just to see how far I can help the team get. The senior from Genoa, Nebraska, has been very crucial for the Cowgirls' quick start, and it has been a lot of fun to see her in her senior campaign. Let's take another break. Come back. More with Coach Jim Littell coming up after this. wrap things up here on the show coach let's talk about what's coming up but you've got uh, a game against Texas Tech you'll get that series out of the way Gallagher Ive Arena and then for the sake of the show and again I know you're not looking ahead to Baylor but obviously that's going to be a heck of a contest as well so some really big basketball games coming up this week for your team well it is and uh, we got the opportunity to uh, get a couple home wins and then we go on the road uh, Baylor's number two in the country, I believe, and very uh, justified in being ranked number two. They've got a 6'7 player that's leading the nation, shooting 73% from the floor. Uh, they lead the nation in field goal percentage defense. They lead our conference in three-point percentage. So very, very good basketball team that knows how to win and is extremely well coached by Coach Mulkey. When you look at the way this conference is kind of turning around a little bit in certain areas, it's got to start gaining some respect. TCU's playing so well. Kansas State has proven they're capable. We know Oklahoma's a good team. Baylor, Texas, yourself, West Virginia. This conference probably going to start garnering more respect soon, I would hope. It is, you know, and you look at some teams at the bottom half, and Iowa State's got a great ball club, but they've just had to play Baylor twice, West Virginia twice. So a lot of the schedule dictates some things, and you got to stay the course because there's going to be some tough stretches in this league. Well, hopefully the crowds will be there on Saturday as the Cowgirls take on Texas Tech. 1 o'clock tip from Gallagher Iva Arena. That's going to wrap things up for Coach Jim Littell. I'm Casey Kendrick. We'll see you next week right here on the Cowgirl Basketball Roundup. The Cowgirl Basketball Roundup with Jim Littell is brought to you by Bud Light, proud friends of Oklahoma State Athletics, famous among friends. By the visit stillwater.org, shop, dine, and stay partners. Be sure to shop, dine, and stay in America's friendliest college town. By Mercy Health, your life is our life's work. And by OGE, power at the speed of life.